You are looking at new video of a home collapsing along North Carolina's Outer Banks and into the ocean. We first told you all about this yesterday on News 3. Now, videos like that are making their rounds online. Tonight, we are talking with the man who shot this video and also with scientists with Cape Hatteras National Seashore about why this is happening. News 3 investigator Zach Dahlheimer is in the Outer Banks tonight. He's getting us answers. NC-12 remains closed behind me as crews continue clearing the road and reconstruct protective berms and dunes. Now, folks living in Rodanthe are concerned about the debris, while scientists are pointing to a primary factor for why houses are going into the ocean. Obviously in awe of Mother Nature. Joey Harpstreit lives 400 yards from where this house once stood. Part of living here on a sandbar that, you know, it's pretty impermanent everything. His big concern this week has been debris polluting the beach and ocean. I have a two year old daughter and it's like, you know, I, wa I want to you know, the beach as quickly as possible. Why is this all happening to these homes? It's actually not uncommon. Michael Flynn is a physical scientist with Cape Hatteras National Seashore. He says this spot along Ocean Drive in Rodanthe has had higher rates of beach erosion, which has led to sites like this. And we're just seeing the impact of these waves uh, on the structure themselves. Um, higher than what they're they're designed and built to withstand. Flynn says since 2020, at least four homes within this general area have collapsed. His team has been studying shoreline change over time. From 1998 to 2019, Flynn says along the area where the homes have collapsed, 86 meters of erosion have occurred. Probably by the time those homes were constructed, we basically saw all of their, their beach pretty much erode up to their front porch. Five years ago, that house was a couple hundred yards from the ocean. Our building inspectors, as well as the Park Service, have been engaged with the property owners there for some time now over the last several months. Dare County Manager Bobby Outen says the National Park Service has taken the lead on the cleanup. Meanwhile, Flynn says there are a couple of other properties deemed by the county as in danger of imminent collapse. Those are being monitored closely with no one inside or renting the properties. Flynn tells us the main mission right now is to clean up the area and have engineers evaluate the conditions of the homes, as well as look at the regulations and whether they should be revised to protect resources and keep people safe. NCDOT crews say safety concerns related to the next high tide cycles are keeping the road closed, and they now hope to open the road possibly mid-morning tomorrow. In the Outer Banks, Zach Dahlheimer, News 3.